we're talking about modular construction, everything from kind of volumetric, very digital product to kind of houses built in the dry on some kind of production line. Right? There's, a, there's a huge range of yes. stuff in there. But with that, with the, kind of the legal head on, um, what in questions are investors asking around what protections they want to see? Most of these things are built off site. So, one, Developers, investors don't have visibility of what's going on. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the t a lot of the times, what you have to ensure is you're monitoring what's happening offsite. You can't just wait for it to all turn up on the day it's supposed to be delivered, and hopefully everything will be okay. And the doors in the wrong place. <laughs> yeah. So a lot a lot of investors and a lot of funders are sending their monitoring surveyors out to monitor the modular mm -hmm. construction that's taking place offsite. Now sometimes, as you know, Alex, some of that's not happening in the UK it's overseas. Mm -hmm. So the monitoring costs can rack up as people are making trips abroad, they're sending their teams abroad to check what's happening. Secondly, some of the modular products are very specific to the delivery of the building. So it's not a question of if one of your modular providers goes insolvent, you can easily get another replacement to simply slot in. Mm -hmm. So you have to really be careful in relation to the covenant strength of your supplier, the track record that they have. Mm -hmm. And finally, we're looking at funding it. Traditionally, lenders have been very reluctant to lend on things they can't see and tick off mm -hmm. on site. Mm -hmm. So we are seeing some lenders limit the amount of money they will allow to lend on off-site construction. Okay. That means that a developer like yourselves or an investor will have to put more money in themselves and the lenders will perhaps only put a proportion of yeah. that money in. So they're willing to test it, but only so far. Absolutely. If we're looking to scale up many, many, many units and we want a particular type of kitchen, a particular type of flooring, um, and we can't necessarily access that in the long term. What are the implications for that sort of legally? A lot of what we're seeing in modular construction, people are very much looking at the delivery of that unit, not yes. thinking about future issues. Sometimes these modular units are very much embedded into the existing design, mm -hmm. and sometimes any changes to the design can be very difficult to accommodate. Generally, with modular construction, the design needs to be agreed quite early up front because they're not very flexible when you need to change design in the future. And also, after delivery, for an operator such as yourself, once the modular aspect of the construction is built in, what happens if you need to change the use slightly? What happens if you need to kind of rechange the kitchens yeah. and the finishes to meet the market going forward in a few years' time? How flexible is that modular construction that's been inputted? going to be in relation to future design change issues Absolutely. and again we're seeing people looking at that a lot more. The way that the kind of that modular end of the industry is going to get really mainstream is if we can implement some kind of standardization, some kind of compatibility. So if the worst does happen and one particular provider is not there anymore, you're not having to start from ground zero again. You can go actually and, and you can transfer because at the moment really you're investing in one particular supplier's style, aren't you? Yes, you are. Alex, you're absolutely right. And if you nail that, the, the, pro, the industry will move a lot faster mm -hmm. forward. At the moment, one of the concerns with modular is that a particular supplier of modular is linked to a particular contractor right. and therefore that modular element of construction is input in the design of all other aspects of that build. Mm -hmm. And if that modular supplier fails, then the rest of the build is really at risk. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you had a bit more flexibility and a bit more standardization, where if a modular supplier fails or didn't perform, mm -hmm. then you could easily get another replacement in it just as quickly without impacting massively on the rest of the design, certainly the industry could move a lot quicker.